Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to be doing something a tad bit different but it is going to be talking about where I am for my third quarter for my household bills. Now I am showing you guys what happened in Q1 and in Q2 because I did not have this template at the beginning of the year so I was able to go ahead and fill in these numbers to kind of give myself an idea of what I've been doing on average especially since we are in these trying times. I want to be able to know where all of my money is going for my household and how I start to begin to prepare for 2023. So if this is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. All right, so we are going to start off with the fact that this is my household budget. So this is just limited to things that have to do with our household. We have a separate account for this and me and my husband put money into that account and then it pays out for our expenses. Currently, our expenses are our mortgage, our ADT security, our gas bill, our utilities, which consist of water, sewage, our exorbitant tax fees and our trash bill. Um, we have our electric, our Discover credit card, which was technically my card, but then I added my husband onto it while we were getting our house. So it's now in both of our names and we really only use that credit card for household purchases and things of that sort. We have our sinking funds, we have YouTube TV, we have internet, we have our, our HOA, which is in our sinking funds and I was trying or am trying to save up money in there so that we don't have to pay for one thing um, all together. And then um, we have spending, which is if we ever just spend random money out of the account. And then we have our emergency fund. So that is what we're going to be looking at, okay? So first is going to be Q1 and that consists of January, February, and March. We do live in the state of Texas. And so um, our summers are hot, our fall, no, our spring is hot, our summer is hotter, and then our fall is even more hot. And then we have winters when the temperature kind of goes down. <laughs> um, so for January, February, March, this was a little bit different because in January, I gave birth to our little baby girl. Well, she's not little anymore at this point, um, but gave birth to our baby girl. So our income was a little bit different. But in January, our income was $43.69.24, and our expenses came up to $27.60. Um, at the time of us paying this bill, I was not covering the ADT. My husband was. We didn't need to pay anything towards Discover because at that time it was still me trying to pay off my credit card debt. And so it was under like my personal budget to pay off. And then my husband was still paying for YouTube TV at this point. So that is why there is nothing there for those numbers. In February, because I had my HOA that I needed to pay out, um, it took a huge, um, <laughs> a huge lump sum of our money in January. So in February, we had an income of thirty three eighty twenty nine, but then I really reduced um, where we were putting our money to. And also during this time, our bills are a lot less because it's a lot cooler. Um, and so that was thirty three eighty twenty nine. Um, and then our expenses was eighteen eighty eight sixty nine. Now, when you look at my like utilities, my electric and my gas, keep in mind that this is going to be what I used in the previous months. So things like January and February um, are usually cooler months, and so you're able to do pretty good. Um, our internet was ninety six ninety eight, and then emergency fund was forty dollars. Now in March, it was a little bit cooler in February and because we just had a newborn y'all we used our gas a lot so gas was definitely huge um in March which was for 118.94 so our income was 32.91.60 and our expenses were 2017.72 so in Q1 our average income was 36.80.38 and our average expenses were 23.98.40 Five, okay, so now we're going to go into Q2. Um, Mama is now back at work and um, 
we are able to put money in there. So for April, our um, income was 4023.83, and that was also because that was a five-week paycheck for us. Our expenses were 2392.42. At this time, ADT was added on. Gas is still very much so high. Our water bill is now going up, or our utility bill, because now we are watering the grass. Um, and electric is still steady. I have been putting extra money towards our sinking funds and um, our expenses, like I said, came up to $23.92. In May, our income was $38.91.41 with expenses of $24.36.98. In June, I don't know what the heck was going on, but uh, our income was $37.54.43, but our expenses was $26.15.43. Excuse me, y'all. Um, and it looks like I had put $300 towards um, Discover. And that was probably because we had spent some money and I was trying to pay some money back. Our utilities were back up again, as you can see, um, or not back up again. It is now up um, for the month of June. So our average income was $38.89. 89 and our average expenses were 25.57.74. So for Q1 it was 23.98.45 and it went up just about maybe $200 for Q2. Now we are going to get into Q3 you guys and that consists of July, August and September. In July our average income or not average but our income was 39.89. And our expenses was twenty five eighty one. So as you can see, that during those hot summer times, our expenses tend to get a little bit higher because our um, our utilities are a lot higher. So for our utilities in July it was one ninety seven thirty one, and my electric was one hundred and ninety three dollars and sixty five cents. It was crazy, y'all, and it did not get any better because in August. Our average or not average, our income was forty thirty three. Sorry, y'all. I keep yawning. Um, and our expenses was twenty four eighty two. And if you look here at our electric, it was two hundred and six dollars and thirty eight cents, y'all. That is crazy for someone who does not live in their house, y'all. We are home for like two hours a day. It feels like because I get home at seven o'clock. My husband gets home around. 5 30 ish he leaves at four in the morning and i leave at seven we are never home um so it is absolutely crazy but i'm glad that it is now getting cooler and we can move on with our lives now we are getting into the september numbers um so let's see what september looks like so for september our income for the month was forty three ninety six, and that is because I put extra money into the account with my one month ahead, and that's because we want to be able to have more money rolling over into the next month. Um, so our mortgage has always been fourteen ninety five ninety two, so that has not changed. We have our ADT, there's only one anomaly or two maybe, and that was because they overcharged us in July and then gave us the credit back so it was cheaper in August, but it is just 49, am I using the right number? Yes, 49.78, okay? Next is going to be our gas bill. Um, outside of those two or three months where they were super high for the cooler types, Y'all, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I apologize. I apologize. Um, out of those times, our gas bill is normally not more than about $35. And this month, it was $32.42. Um, for our utilities, we actually paid the same thing. And we were having a conversation, conversation about it on our... Facebook page for our community and it just seems like they just decided to if it was close to what the average was from what you used the previous month that's just what they were going to charge you not everybody was treated equally but for at least for our household the last three months there's no way that we use the same amount of water each month so 
this is just what we look like um, for utilities. So I'm glad it was still at least under $200 um, for our electric. That bill started to come down slightly and that was at 196.05 down from the 206.38 so about 10 bucks. <laughs> um but keep in mind that the September bill is based on what happened in August you guys and August is the hottest month in Texas plus the fact that gas prices have been so high. I mean, it's not ideal but it is definitely understandable uh, to a certain extent. Um, Discover, we're just putting $100 towards that debt currently. Seeking funds, I've only just been doing $200. Our YouTube TV has stayed at $81.87 and our internet has stayed at $84.08. Now, technically, this is not supposed to change because we kind of like signed like an agreement that this would be the price for our one gig internet for a lifetime so this should always be the same or if not go down but it should not ever go up but you know how businesses are zero for hoa because that's not something we spend on a monthly basis for spending i did have some extra spending this time it was 34.78 and 20 dollars of that came from the fact that we did do more of a deeper clean in our house for our cleaning this month and i only had 110 dollars, so i took the other 20 out of the household account Ooh, this is giving me pt ptsd y'all oh my goodness um, and so, um, that was $20 of that. And then we have $14.78 because I went to buy some more containers for lunches because my husband just like refuses to bring them back every time I pack him lunch. So I took that out of the household account. So that was what the extra spending was for. And then our emergency fund, I do do like a zero out challenge at the end of the month. So that was for $40.79, which is going into our emergency fund. So as you can see here, our bills came down for September at $24.72.21 in terms of what? Oh, just kidding. $25.13. So actually it went up because I had this extra spending here. Just kidding, y'all. Just kidding. Um, so this is just what it looks like for the month of September. So on average in Q3, our income was 413933, which is actually really good. That means that I want to keep putting more and more and more and more into the account. And our average expenses was about 253113. Now that leads us into Q4 which is for October, November, and December. Now, this is going to be a little misleading because I want to take the averages of our income. Well, not really our income. That's not true. Our average expenses to be able to budget for October, November, and December. But I feel like it's going to be a little skewed because I know we are no longer in these hot months. October will kind of be like our last like super hot month because it was for September's temperatures um but then i know for De november and december those numbers should go down so i'll probably tweak it um a little bit but when we look at our year today which ends in october um our expenses have come out to twenty one sixty twenty one thousand six hundred and ninety one dollars and ninety two cents most of our money has gone to our mortgage now for our household account that is high at thirty seven percent 38 percent however for our total income it is under 15 percent if we were just to put all of our monies together and pay out all of our bills our mortgage is only around like 15 percent of our income so we are definitely in a really good range when it comes down to how much money we um, are putting towards our actual mortgage. It's just that y'all, we need to get rid of that debt because that's really what's taking a hit to both of our personal accounts. Um, the next thing is going to be, the next highest thing is gonna be here. And that is for sinking funds. So that is for savings, which is really, really good. And then the next thing would go to our utilities, which is at 1305.96. 
everything else is going to be a little bit less. Electric was high at 3% and our Discover bill, which is of course debt at 2%. And we had that HOA, of course, which is a one-time bill, which was about 2.5% of our income for the entire year. So this is not terrible at all, you guys, but this helps me see what is going on in our household budget because I don't talk about it or do much with it um, throughout the month when you guys are seeing our bills. But trust me, there are things going behind on the scenes. So I'm excited to see what happens in Q4 if we're allowed to bring in some more extra income and how those bills come down, especially in my electric and my utilities. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.